Uh, my name is Teacher Stella. How are you? Good morning. You're fine. Um, How are you? How are you, man? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So I hope you guys are doing fine. Uh, today I want us to do some bit of reading. Uh, but before we do that, I'll uh, ask you to tell me anything you know about health, anything uh, you encounters with health, anything about it? Uh, maybe it's all in the world now about Corona, you know, everything. People are really worried about Corona and spreading everywhere. But maybe now it's getting better. But yeah, for the couple of years ago, last former years ago, I mean, everybody was suffering about it and taking precautions, medical precautions about it. Uh, yeah, maybe that's, I got sick maybe twice. Corona was terrible. <laughs> so till now, I don't really test everything the way I used to, but yeah, Alhamdulillah, I think everything is getting much better than it was. Yeah. Okay. It's getting Thank you. That's good, Hen. That's good. Yes, yes. Uh, all of us know about the uh, the pandemic that has uh, affected the entire world. The COVID nineteen uh, that Hen has brought about has brought uh, about to us. Yes, it has affected us. It has affected the whole nation, the whole world. That is. And uh, today I want us to discuss something to read a passage on the same on health, and uh, what some of these practitioners might be doing to end this. So I'm going to share a screen and you students are going to help me identify some of these uh, issues that we'll have, we'll talk about regarding health. What I can't imagine this. I think my my call dropped. I know that I should begin again. Can you hear me? Yes, Stella, we can hear you. Yes, yes. Okay, so so I think the recording is still on. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just I'll just continue from there. Uh, I'll share my screen. So can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, please. Good. So I want us to look at these uh, given uh, pictures here. And I want one of you to tell me what you can see. What can you see on these pictures? The first one especially. Uh, doctor. Doctor. Uh -huh. Doctor. Putting on what? a mask and trying to help someone. And maybe nurse. The second one, maybe the virus, I think. Uh -huh. So it's a virus. Uh -huh. Yes. And a family uh -huh. members. Uh -huh. An injection. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, there's a syringe there, maybe with a needle. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, the, last, uh, the last one, what can you see? Yes, World Health Organization slogan. Uh -huh. Yes, that's good, that's good. So students, uh, from these pictures, we can see the first one, uh, uh, we can maybe infer this is a doctor going by the mask, uh, going by the uh, the coat, uh, the overcoat uh, this lady is putting on. And it seems as if she's performing some lab work. Now, if you go to the next picture, we'll see a family. And what tells us it's a family because she has a father. You can see a mother there a boy and a girl, maybe these are family. And from our world knowledge, what we have already learned so far from the pandemic, uh, we can maybe call these a virus. And we can see a syringe there. 
and a needle. And lastly, correct, as you said, these are World Health Organization logo or symbol. And today I want us to read more about that. I want us to learn uh, more about uh, this particular organization. Uh, what does it do? Uh, remember, these are issues that are affecting us. And how can we use it in our class to learn more about uh, health and such issues? So I'll share a document which you all have. I'm hoping you have the handout. Does everyone of you have the handout? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh, good. So from the handouts I have shared on screen and the one that you have with you, uh, we have a lesson topic uh, on reading comprehension on contemporary issues, that is, that is uh, the health issues. So I want a volunteer to help us read that short passage on health in the world. One volunteer could help us read that. Okay, then I read it. It's okay. Okay. Uh, read the short passage below on health in the world. World Health, health Organization, WHO staff, who include medical doctors, public health specialists, scientists, and epidemiologists, and other experts are at work on the ground in 149 countries worldwide. They advise ministries of health on technical issues and provide assistance on prevention, treatment, and care services throughout the health sector, WHO or um, World Health Organization intervene interventions cover all areas of the global health care spectrum. For instance, WHO intervenes during crisis and respond to humanitarian emergencies. It also works to establish international health regulations, which countries must follow to identify disease outbreaks and stop them from spreading. Furthermore, WHO's work helps to prevent chronic disease, diseases and to achieve the health-related sustainable development goals. Yes. That is good. That is good reading. Yes. So these are a short passage that I'm going to read again. Uh, World Health Organization, WHO staff, who include medical doctors, public health specialists, scientists and epidemiologists, and other experts are at work on the ground in 149 countries worldwide. They advise ministries on health, of health on technical issues and provide assistance on prevention, treatment and care services through the health sector. WHO interventions cover all areas of the global health care spectrum. For instance, WHO intervenes during crisis and responds to humanitarian emergencies. It also works to establish international health regulations which countries must follow to identify disease outbreaks and to stop them from spreading. Furthermore, WHO's work hel helps to prevent chronic diseases and to achieve the health-related sustainable development goals. Yes, so students, as you can see, these are short passage that was adapted from the United Nation news. And uh, from that passage, I want us to identify some of the things we have learned from it like uh, from the questions uh, we can find there. The first question which is asking, which of the following is not a staff of WHO according to the passage? So we'll go back to the passage and you're going to help me identify uh, are the scientists mentioned there, are the medical doctors mentioned, are the epidemiologists mentioned, are the teachers mentioned, which of the, of the given staff members are not mentioned going by the passage? Uh -huh, one of you. Me, me, yes, if me, uh, teachers, D. Good, that is very good. That is very good, Yvonne. Yes, so in this case, you can see the teachers have not been mentioned. So if you check uh, the first uh, line, the first sentence there, we took that WHO organization staff include medical doctors, they have been mentioned, public health specialists. Scientists, uh -huh, scientists have been mentioned, and epidemiologists, they've also been mentioned. So that is very good, Ivona. Aha, uh -huh. going on to the next question. 
in how many countries are the WHO staff working on the ground? So are they Can 142? Uh -huh, yes, yes, hand. Okay. Uh, 149, C. Ah, C. That's very good. That's very good. Yes, so I'm going to highlight that. Yes. As you can see uh, on the second sentence, you told that uh, other experts are at work on the ground in 149 countries worldwide. So that is very good. Uh, the other one, WHO is an abbreviation that stands for, is it Women Health Organization, World Health Order, World Health Organization, Winning Health Organization. So we'll go back to the passage and check. Uh -huh. Any of you could help me answer that? World Health Organization. Uh -huh. Yes, that is very good, Nurul. Yes, it is C, the World Health Organization. So if you check uh, the first uh, sentence at the beginning, we can see the World Health Organization has been mentioned there. So WHO is an abbreviation for World Health Organization. So that is very good, students. Uh, having read that, I want us to look at some grammar questions. And before we look at the grammar questions, I want us to focus on prepositions. Now, a preposition is a word or group of words. They could be many. We can use them before a noun. We'll see that in the passage when once we go back to check. We can use them in the pronouns, uh, before pronouns. We can even use them before noun phrases. Now, what do they do? We can use them to show direction. We can use them to show time. We can show. Uh, we can use them to show places, locations, spatial relations, or even in, to introduce an object. So, some of the prepositions include in, at, on, off, and to. So, students, I want us to go back to the passage now. And I want us to see where we can find such prepositions. Can you identify some of these prepositions in this particular passage? Uh huh. Someone? Well, the experts are at work in the second line. Uh huh. At work on the ground. Uh huh. In the second line also. Uh huh. Then in the third line, we advise uh -huh. ministries of health on technical issues. So uh -huh. advise on, uh -huh. then uh, on the fourth line, assistance on prevention. Uh -huh. Then on the fifth line, interventions cover all areas of the globe of. Uh -huh. Then the next line, during crisis and respond to. to. Uh -huh. Then it also works to establish international uh -huh. health regulations. Then you have the following line, which countries must follow to identify, mm -hmm. then and to stop the next line, then help to the next line or in the same line also, then in the mm -hmm. next line, and to, to achieve. Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Yes, that's very good. That's very good. Yes. So as you can see, students, uh, as Hen has told us, these are some of the prepositions we have. That is very good. We call them prepositions. As you can see, we use them just before nouns, uh, noun phrases, and pronouns. So these are what we call uh, prepositions. Uh, going to the to our work. So that's very good. We have managed to identify these prepositions in the passage. We have uh, identified at. We have identified the preposition on. We have identified the preposition in. We have identified the preposition of. And we have also identified the preposition from. That is very good. So we can see these prepositions at, we use at to show location. For example, in this passage, if we go back, we're able to see that uh, Hen was able to show us, uh, to identify for us this uh, particular preposition here at. So other experts are at work. And we said that we use prepositions to show direction, to show time, to show place, to show location, and even introduce objects. So if you look here at uh, the art here, this preposition, 
we can say it has been used to show location. Maybe this is at work. The same with off to show a relationship of the global world. So students in your free time, I would want you now to identify where on, where the preposition in and where the preposition from have been used in this particular passage and what do they show, what are their functions? So that is something you will do during your free uh, time. Now, lastly, I want us to make some writing in our books. I know you have the notebooks with you there. And I want us to make notes from the passage on the areas that WHO covers. If you go back to our passage, we told that WHO intervenes. If you look at this part of the passage, I want one of you to volunteer and tell me which are the areas that HWO covers. What does it do? What are some of the functions it does? Okay, can I answer? Yes. Okay. Uh, WHO helps with uh, humanitarian, humanitarian emergencies. When there's any emergency, they respond to those emergencies. It also works to establish regulations, uh, international health regulations all over the world. And it identifies or defines the outbreaks of diseases and tries to prevent those, to, to prevent them from spreading. Yeah, mainly that's, mm -hmm. mainly that's uh, I missed one point. It also helps to prevent chronic diseases from spreading. So, uh, uh, like, set the regulations all over the world, the World mm -hmm. Health Regulations, and prevents the outbreak of diseases and chronic diseases as well, and it helps with emergencies. That's it. That's very good, correct? That is very good, yes. So as you can see, as Henda Solas, yes, uh, the WHO will be used in uh, cases of humanitarian emergencies. It, will it is used when to establish the international health regulations. And again, it works to prevent chronic diseases. So that is very good. So students, I want you now to open your books and write uh, and fill in the other notes. Uh, on where the WHO covers. So we have said the first one is it intervenes during crisis and response to uh, humanitarian emergencies, uh, chronic, uh, in chronic diseases and all that. I would want you now to take your time and uh, fill in the uh, areas that it covers. As you're doing that, any question, students? No, thank you. Okay, so that is going to be, uh, yes, yes. So okay. far, no miss. No question. Okay, so that is going to be your assignment for today. Uh, your assignment is to identify uh, where these propositions have been used and also to make notes on the areas that WHO covers. So today, students, we have been looking at uh, uh, contemporary issues, that is health issues in the world. And uh, we have seen uh, one organization that is doing that, the WHO. Uh, it is involving himself using staffs like scientists, medical doctors. It is working in 149 countries. And uh, we have found a, a number of propositions and the areas that WHO has been covering. Our students, I uh, will continue in our next session on other contemporary issues in the world. And that is the end of our session. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank, Thank you me. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. See you next time. Thank you. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah.